All right, one of my viewers shamed me into uh, making real power measurements. So I used to do that as a job once. <laughs> and so I do, not, I do know how to make accurate power measurements, but uh, it's not always that easy. And in the garage, I get really, really sloppy, but maybe for YouTube, I should at least tell you about uh, insertion loss. So insertion loss is whenever you put something in between the thing you're measuring and the thing you're measuring it with. So there's going to be some insertion loss with cables or, or cable adapters, you know, uh, sex change adapters, things like that. So let me see if I can't calibrate this thing a little bit better. Um, I'm going to be using uh, the best uh, uh, adapters that, that I have. And end, end type uh, connectors are uh, one of the lowest loss connectors and they're, they're quite repeatable. So I'm going to use end connectors as much as I can. Now this thing is SMA, so I'm going to have to go at least to SMA. Um, so the only male SMA adapter I have is this one. And unfortunately it's, uh, it's also male on this end. So I really would like a female and anyway, I need to I need to calibrate it. So first of all, I'm going to have so I have a uh, I have several. Oops, don't don't drop those because these are expensive. <laughs> so uh, I have female, male, and a, uh, a, a female, female end type. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, I'm going to eventually need a particular setup, and I'm going to first measure the insertion loss of this setup. Okay. Uh, so I have a, a female and a male, and a female and a male SMA, and I'm going to put these together, and I'm going to measure the insertion loss of just this unit, okay? So let's do that. Uh, now, another thing that you never see me do on camera, because I'm very, very lazy, is to use a wrench. Now, if... Um, if you've ever been in the RF field, you know that every single time you put on a connector, you use a torque wrench. And the torque wrenches are several hundred dollars, <laughs> believe it or not. And I don't have a torque wrench. I've looked on the used market for torque wrenches and they still go for tons of money. I just, I just don't care um, for the garage. Uh, but what I am gonna do is I am going to uh, use my fingers as a torque wrench and I am going to cinch down on the uh, uh, SMA connector. Now I've done enough uh, 3.5 millimeters and in, in SMA connectors with torque wrenches that I sort of know what it feels like about the right amount. Okay, so I'm fairly experienced with that. So anyway, these are now tight. And so I'm going to measure uh, the insertion loss of this unit. Okay, so we're going to do that with a power meter, um, which is the only accurate way to measure, uh, measure insertion loss. So let's go over to the power meter. All right. So we are going to calibrate the sensor. Always calibrate your sensor just before the measurement for the most highest accuracy. So we are going to calibrate. And um, the, um, this particular power meter, you can program the reference, the zero dBm reference to stay on all the time. So you can use it as a source. So I've, I've programmed that in the menu system to leave that on. Normally it turns it off, but I program, I program that to leave it on. So we should be reading zero dBm when we get all done. And we'll see how it did. All right, 0, 0.00, okay? So quickly, before we get any temperature drips and everything, uh, we are going to insert. We are going to insert our unit. So I'll put half of it over here, and we're going to put half of it over here. And now we've inserted that into the into the system, and we get a 0 0.01 dBm loss. Okay, well dB loss, right? It's actually dB. Um, so 0 0.01 dB of insertion loss. So that's pretty pretty small. Okay. So let's go back over to the measurement we're going to make. And I'll show you what I'm going to do there. Okay, so this is pretty accurate. Okay, so I'm going to be needing, needing this part. So let me, let me take it off. So I'm going to be needing this part. This, this is going to go into here. And now I need to connect the... Uh, power sensor to, to this. Now I'm going to insert this 
this female female and I'm going to wave my hands that the insertion loss of this bit is about the same insertion loss of this bit. And we're already within 0.01. I mean, come on, that's pretty damn close. So we're gonna replace this with this, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim this is now um, 0.01 difference. And I'm going to attach the power sensor. Now the problem with all of this is you've got all of this mass. Luckily we're measuring a very small thing, but a lot of times you're measuring big things and you have to really worry about torquing off uh, uh, little connectors and ruining things, especially three and a half millimeter connectors, which are super, super expensive. And, but we're going in, luckily this is, like I said, luckily this is really light. And we are going to uh, connect this up. Okay, it's about tight. That's good. Okay, so now this is tight, all right? Now we're going to go back to the uh, power meter. So yes, indeed. So yesterday when I adjusted this thing, the insertion loss tricked me into uh, setting the power level too high. So I'm going to readjust the uh, calibrator down. And I can't see this across the room. There we go. There we go. So I'm going to, ah. Uh, oops, going the wrong way. All right. There we go. Now I have a 0.1 insertion loss in there. So I'm going to set it 0 0.01 low. And so now I claim that we have a perfect calibrated perfectly calibrated source. So we were 0.1 dBs off and now we are 0 dBs off or about 0.01. I would say we're probably within probably 1.0, 0.01, 0.02. Um, okay, so I did it right this time. Okay, thanks for keeping me honest. Uh, so this is a, a better a better set of the, of the cal source. Uh, so if you do have one of the one of the things in Cal laboratories is the all of the adapters, you know, uh, they might pay it, you know, two hundred dollars for just this adapter, um, and then they keep it in a nice drawer and nobody touches it, and uh, they cal it once in a while. They know exactly what its insertion losses and then everything, and um, so you can really go down a really really deep rabbit hole. Uh, for this type of stuff. But anyway, okay, I've calibrated it better now and uh, I feel good about it.